What's going on, people? What's going on, family? It's your boy, Porter Rock 77 and I'm coming back at you with another video. Thank you for showing up. You know, look at the description box. Check me out on Twitter. Follow me there. Check the PayPal link if you choose to donate. This channel is also open up for sponsorship. But most importantly, I'm so glad that you're just simply showing up um, and just checking out the video. I appreciate the support. And again, hit me up on Twitter and all. But now let's get to the video. Wow, oh wow. It seems we got fanboys upset that certain people are getting review copies of the Xbox One X for free. <laughs> What's going on? What happened? What's going on, fellas? Are you mad that your nonprofit work ain't paying off? All those four years of corporate slaving and Microsoft ain't reciprocating. Microsoft ain't coming back at you saying thank you. That all the channels that bash the Xbox One are the ones getting these products and your four years of all this work, these four years of protecting Microsoft, these four years of ignoring the issues that plague them, that they're not saying thank you. They're not saying thank you for fanboying on our behalf. <laughs> are you upset? <laughs> Why do you think I call it non-profit work? Because you're not going to get paid for this. <laughs> Them 12 to, the 10 to 12 hours a week of damage controlling didn't pay off. What's going on? You ain't get your Christmas bonus this year? <laughs> it's hilarious how these do feel entitled. They go on Twitter making sure harassing devs because of marketing rights. You know, green disc ain't sexy. Fight the good fight. <laughs> and in the end, y'all ain't getting crap. <laughs> yo, I'm sorry for laughing, but yo, it's it's mad funny that these dudes are, are, are like I so out of touch with reality. It's one thing, you know, you're doing this for entertainment. You know, you make successful channels. Cool. It's good on you. But if you're actually butthurt that you're not getting props for what you're doing, something's wrong, man. Now, now, now you got mental issues, you know, because what you're doing is simply for entertainment. Don't think Microsoft is going to say thank you for fanboying on our behalf. You know what I'm saying? When they look at these videos, oh, especially GameSpot one, oh, man, they're getting so mad, so triggered. My man Lamar Wilson, you know what I'm saying? Here's the reality, all right? Here's the truth, okay? For all you fanboy channels, there ain't nothing wrong with making a fanboy channel because the way I see it, it's entertainment. You know what I'm saying? You're providing something that's giving people some type of enjoyment. You know, it's just entertainment. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like Bill O'Reilly and, you know, those politics extremists and stuff like that. It, 90% of it is all entertainment that triggers people, right? But with that form of entertainment, you're primarily going to attract two audiences. Audience number one is the hardcore Xbox fans. Whether they're fanboys or just fans, you're going to attract those people, you know? Because the fanboys, they're going to believe your bullshit, and the fans, while they don't believe your bullshit, they still find it entertaining. You know, because you got Xbox fans that don't believe your bullshit, but they still watch it because it's entertaining. It's funny. And it's, you know, they like to look at the reaction of other people get triggered over your, you know, over your craziness and fanaticism, you know? So it's funny to the Xbox fans to watch your channel. And to the Xbox fanboys, they actually believe the bullshit that you preach. So that's audience number one. And with that audience, they're going to buy the Xbox One X. They, that, that decision's already done. The other audience that's going to watch your channel are the haters, the PS4 fanboys, the people that get upset over the words you say. For whatever reason, they will come to your channel pissed as hell at what you say, getting triggered of what you say, but they're still going to watch it. For some reason, people love to watch shit that upsets them. You know, it's like liberals that watch Bill O'Reilly or, or conservatives that watch Rachel Maddow. You know, they just love to watch people with views and opinions that they don't agree with. You know, and they'll go in your comment box, they'll talk shit, they'll harass you on Twitter, they'll do all that. That group is not buying the One X. No matter what you say, you could do all the unboxing in the world, they're not buying it. So the one main group will buy it, not even looking at your video, and the other main group isn't going to buy it. So what's the point of giving you a review copy of a One X. What's it going to do for Microsoft? What's, what's in it for them? 
Giving you a copy of a One X will do what? In your mind, you're thinking, well, I can advertise it and I can promote it. Bro, the people who watch your shit are already going to buy it. You see? When Microsoft gives it to these guys, the guys who had criticisms over the One X, they built a following, 2 million subscribers. This goes on Lamar Wilson, Lamar. He has 1.3 million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Those are the audience Xbox is going after. Microsoft is going after. They ain't going after your audience because your audience is already all in. They don't need you to advertise a damn thing because you are already attracting the fan base that's going to buy the One X day one. Hell, they probably all got it pre-ordered. You're not changing no one's mind because the decision's done. The fan base in your channel, the decision's done. You got one group that will buy the One X and then you got the group that hates your ass that will never buy the One X. So there's no mind changing on your channel. But a channel like this dude or her channel, their channel, this guy's channel, and definitely GameSpot for the years who criticized the issues that plagued the vanilla Xbox One, they get to not review the copy. And if they like this product, they can tell their audience, an audience that did not like the OG Xbox One, to be like, hey, Microsoft finally did it right with this. This console's worth it. This console's powerful. It is worth the value. Because let's make no mistake, the Xbox One X was built off the criticisms of the OG Xbox One. It wasn't built off the fanboyism of you dudes. Because you dudes to this day still damage controlling the DRM fiasco. That's how bad and non-profit corporate work you guys are doing that you still can't admit that Microsoft's DRM strategy was terrible. That much corporate slaving you're doing. So you, you're no use to Microsoft. But these guys are. Because if they review the Xbox One and Microsoft has confidence in this console, they will see a well-built, technically advanced console. And they will preach that to their audience. And then the audience, who are either on the fence or was disappointed in how Xbox One Vanilla launch, they might listen to these guys and be like, you know what? If Lamar Wilson is saying that this console is finally the way it's supposed to be, it performs what it's supposed to, and it does real good, you know what? I might buy the Xbox One X. You know, I, I think I might just actually pick it up. Because an unbiased person who has no problem criticizing stuff that went wrong is more believable than you dudes doing all this nonprofit work 24-7. No one's going to trust your opinion. Right? And the people who do trust your opinion, they are already buying the One X day one. So you're not convincing anybody. There's no convincing. Microsoft gets nothing from giving you an Xbox One X. There's nothing for them. They get nothing out of it. If anything, it's actually worse because they're acknowledging the fanboyism. And we already know Phil does not like fanboyism. So he's not sending you fanboys an Xbox One X. You're not getting it. You guys are doing non-profit work. Keyword, non-profit. It's free. It's free labor. <laughs> anyway, and this, you know, and this applies to the PlayStation fan base. You know what I'm saying? But to be honest, i never seen the PlayStation fan base cry for not getting free PlayStations. i I just never seen this. It's always, it's always something with the Xbox dudes. I don't know what it is, but it's always something new. But anyway, this is your boy, Porter Oxlade. So tell me what you think. Tell me if I went in too hard on these dudes or if I hit the point. Because I don't know. This, this little enti entitlement mentality is getting sickening. But anyway, hit me up on the comment. Let me know if I'm wrong or if you agree with me. Hit me up on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate it. This is your boy, Porter Rock 77 Thank you so much for stopping by. Hey, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to watch more content. And check me out every Wednesday. 60 frames, no lag podcast. You like the name, don't you? Yeah, you do. You know, hosted by me. And I always have some great guests of mixed personalities and taste and opinions. Xbox, you know, so um, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, whoever I could get and come, that's who's coming chit chat. But anyway, I'm out of here. Enjoy your weekend. Keep it gaming. And God bless all of you. All right. And again, thank you so much for, you know, supporting the channel. I'm out. Peace.